Am I look my audio? How is my audio? You sound Let me check good. the settings. You, you sound real good. No, ninety-seven. Full huh? hour That's here to just set up the laptop. An hour to set up a laptop? Oh, well, like that's not bad. Now. You know how much it takes to set up a PC when I do it? About three or four hours. Okay, I'm getting so I'm I got myself. So it line. What I have left for you hearing it. Yes, I was hearing it through your laptop. Because you get new equipment, right? Yeah, isn't that nice? Now you can play games, man. That sounds cool. It's a gaming laptop. Are you sure it's a gaming laptop? Because not all laptops are created equal. It's got to be a gaming laptop to play games, dude. Laptops are not like PCs. They're different. Uh, a NVIDIA G4. Hear me? No, you're breaking up. You're breaking up one, really two. bad. Even testing one two. Can you hear me? Now I can. You were breaking up real bad there for a second. I don't know why. And now you're breaking up again. Fuck. The computer says through? we have a really good connect, but it's not working out that way. No, it is not working out that way. Um, I'm glad we're live this morning because I want to address G-Man personally. So I, have I went to... into his live show last night. I went into his live show last night. And David Anthony was in there saying, I raped my kids and I killed my mother. Well, let me tell you something, G-Man. I've already warned you five fucking times about that goddamn YouTube troll. And I'm going to tell you right now, G-Man, if one of these goddamn YouTube trolls comes on your channel and accuses me of raping my kids and killing my mother one more fucking time, there's going to be bright lights, bright flashing lights outside your window, bro. You forget. I know where you live. And I'm telling you, if that fat son of a bitch or any other fucking YouTube troll comes on your show one more goddamn time accusing me of raping my kids and killing my mother, I swear to God. I will have flashing lights outside your goddamn window. I mean it, G-Man. I am not playing. I am not fucking playing. Why, and I got money you, now, bitch. I have money now, bitch. So now I'm telling you, I will hire a lawyer. I will throw your fucking ass in prison. If that fat son of a bitch, David Anthony, gets on your show one more goddamn time, accusing me of raping my kids and killing my mother. I am done with this shit, G-Man. I am done with being the fucking punching bag of fucking YouTube trolls. That is not going to happen no more, motherfucker. And you're in charge of that goddamn show, and you know damn good and well that David Anthony is a fucking YouTube troll. Because I told you myself several times. Now, he comes on your fucking show, and I catch it. I see him do it. You're gone. Because there will be flashing lights outside your window. I swear to God, G-Man. I am not playing, bro. I'm not fucking playing. Don't, don't, don't tempt me. Because it's ironic, it's ironic that, that an actual victim of the goddamn trolls would be allowing the fucking troll. What in the fuck happened to everybody's goddamn brain? Nick Bravo is in with the trolls now, and they abuse the fuck out of him. The trolls abuse the fuck out of you, and now you're hanging with trolls. Agent 19 used used to actually, actually expose the trolls, the trolls, and he's, and he's now hanging, hanging with, the with the trolls. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the feedback, John. John. I'm hearing feedback, John. And it, what what the fuck happened to everybody? Why the fuck are you all cowtown to these goddamn criminals? Huh? Why are you guys cowtown to a bunch of goddamn criminals, or at least criminal wannabes? Because I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, G man. I'm not bluffing. If that if fat David Anthony shows up on your two. show Can one you more right? time, that that? I'm hold on, hold on, John. Stay muted a minute. If he shows up on your fucking show one more time, and he fucking says that I raped my kids and I murdered my mother on your goddamn show, G man, there will be flashing lights outside your fucking window. I am not playing no more, and I got money now, bitch. I'll fuck. I'll fucking throw your ass in jail for for life. Okay. I'm not fucking playing no more. I'm done with being the goddamn punching bag of the motherfucking internet. Am I clear on that shit? 
I Crystal be. clear. Here, here's the here's the fucking the, the irony of this shit is a, is probably the first motherfucker I'm going to throw in prison is a, is one of the people that actually was victimized by the goddamn trolls. That's the goddamn irony of this shit. I mean, how many times did the trolls take your job away, G man? Five fucking times you lost your job to these motherfuckers, and now you letting them on your goddamn show and kowtowing to them, bowing to them. Are you bowing to them, G man, like they're fucking gods? Because it looks like it. It looks like it. We're going to find out, ain't we? But let that fat son of a bitch come on your show one more time and accuse me of raping my kids and killing my mother and see what happens to your ass, boy. Because I'm not playing. I am not fucking playing. Now, you know he was a YouTube troll. You, He's already come in there and said that shit three, at least two or three times that I'm aware of. Probably times when I wasn't aware of. Now, let me explain this to you, G-Man, so that even a fucking moron can figure this out. That is not free speech, you dumb motherfucker. That is not free speech. That is slander, libel, harassment, and defamation. Those are crimes, not free speech. I don't give a fuck what YouTube says. I don't give a fuck what Google says. I don't give a fuck what some asshole on the internet says. Slander, liable, defamation, and harassment are crimes, not free speech or fair use. So when he gets on your service and accuses me of raping my daughters and killing my mother, that is not only defamation, G-Man, it's criminal defamation. It's criminal defamation. All right? Which means... Which means you're bye bye bye. Which means and pipey you know, bye bye pipey. You're gone. Yeah, it's probably pipey McGraw, right? Yeah, you're fucking. At, you think say you think because you're in the UK that you're safe, pipey? I'll remind you, pipey. There's laws on the book in fucking UK against trolling and harassment. Did you know that, pipey? Did you know you're breaking the law every time you harass me and troll me on on the internet? That that's a crime against the United Kingdom. But we're going to find out, Pipey. I guarantee fucking tea. You might be able to outrun me, but you ain't outrunning your own fucking government because I'll, I'll fucking email your government, bro. Anyways. You're not going to be able to outrun Vaughn. That's a, that's going to be the issue. That's going to be it, yeah. Because I'm like I, like I said, and I'm, I mean this sincerely, I am no longer the, the punching bag of the goddamn internet, okay? The days of, hey, we're going to pick on Vaughn Hilton are over. They're done. But the irony will be is I'm going to be uh, apparently I'm going to have to throw somebody in jail that was actually abused by these motherfuckers and now is kissing her goddamn ass. Kissing her goddamn ass. You sucking her dick, G-Man? Is that what's going on? Are you sucking her fucking dick? Because you're letting them on your show after they got your fucking ass in trouble. Almost got you fucking thrown in jail. Now they are going to get you thrown in jail because they keep coming on your goddamn show accusing me of shit I didn't do. You dumb son of a bitch. If I raped my kids and killed my mother, I'd be in the prison. I'd be in federal prison right now, motherfucker. Do I look like I'm in federal prison? Do I, G-Man? Do I look like I'm in federal prison, you dumb son of a bitch? But you're going to sit there and let that fat David Anthony come on your goddamn show and accuse me of that shit? Like I said, that's not defamation, G-Man. That's criminal defamation because you're accusing me of committing numerous felonies. And criminal defamation is not, is not a misdemeanor, G-Man. It's a felony. Look it up. I did. It is not a misdemeanor. Defamation is a misdemeanor. Criminal defamation is a felony. Now, it's a low-case felony, but it's still a felony, nonetheless. So now I'm telling you, G-Man, I'm, I'm not fucking around, bro. I'm not fucking around, okay? I'm done. Oh, that's sick, Pipey. That I'm is sick. I'm done being the internet, uh, the internet punching bag, okay? I'm done with it, man. I'm done with it. All right? It's, it's over, have... man. It's over, motherfucker. Yeah, it's and like done. I, and like I said, if I had done if I'd done half of the shit these motherfuckers accused me of, I'd be in fucking Leavenworth. So hard, hard truth says to be fair, I've been watching from 2019, and I have not heard anyone say you are worded your children. What show was this? What show are you talking about, Bon? G Man, G Man's uh, debate. The conference. last night's show or something? Yeah, yeah, last night. It was just last night. I didn't yeah, see and, it myself. And, and, and to beat it all, instead of kicking out David Anthony for accusing me of raping my kids and killing my mother, the son of a bitch kicks me out. 
Oh, he kicked you out. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Oh, why did he? Why did you man kick you out for? You're just defending yourself. Oh, because I said a few dirty words. Oh my goodness, I said a few dirty words. Oh my god. Well, you have a guy accusing you everything in the book. Of course, you can have a filthy mouth. Exactly. And and G Man had to know. He had to know that that was done deliberate. He had to know that shit. To be honest with you, G Man is not exactly uh, you know the sharpest knife in the drawer. If you know what I mean. Hard truth. Cut both ways. Listen to me. Let's, who, what's Very this careful. one? Let, uh, I want to spell. Oh, that's disgusting. Hard I'm truth, deleting that right now. That's hard, fucking. Hard these people are throat. sick, Vaughn. All right. Hard truth cutthroat says it's what's sad is you can't acknowledge the fact that you left your mom on the floor. Okay, let me explain what the fuck happened for the goddamn thousands. You didn't even. Time. You didn't leave her on the floor. Maybe for one no. minute. Maybe. Yeah, I went. Okay, look. When somebody first wakes up, especially an elderly person, when they first wake up, they're a little groggy, okay? That's normal, you dumb son of a bitch. That's normal. They're a little groggy when they first get up, and that's what I thought was happening. She had made her a pallet on the floor. She did not fall. She made her a pallet on the floor, which is, you know, she survived the depression. That's what they do, okay? That's normal for her. She had made a pallet on the floor and and I and she was getting up and I'm like, well, hell, and she's just a little groggy from getting up. So me and me and midnight went outside. We fed the dogs, which was only a few minutes. And then we come back in and then I saw her again. She still hadn't moved. And then that's when I got worried. And I said, hey, apparently uh, there's something serious here. So I said, mom, 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 you know, I tried to, you know, tried to see if she was responsive. And then at that time. That's when I said, okay, she's not responsive. So I immediately, immediately, you dumb son of a bitch. I immediately called the ambulance. Ambulance was out here by 8 o'clock in the fucking morning. Not no 12 goddamn at noon or, or 5 o'clock in the evening. Where in the flying fuck did you guys get that shit from? You pulled it out of your ass. That's where you got it from. They were here at 8 o'clock in the morning. And they whisked her off to the hospital as fast as they could go. But uh, But the hospital told me. Over the phone, they said, even if I had come in the middle of the night and got her, it was too late. The, 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 the thing that shall not be named, I caught myself, the thing that shall not be named killed her dead. Okay, a blood clot went to her brain and killed her. That was, that's from the hospital, not from Von Helden, that's from the hospital. There's people, nothing well, I, people had not. beds in the Great Depression. Well, people slept on the floor too. People slept on the floor. She, she, you got to remember, she lived in rural Kentucky all of her life, man. Anyway, the point is, is that I did not abandon my mother to die. That's a fucking lie, and I'm sick of it. And we all know who gave her the the uh, thing that shall not be named. We know who gave it to her, don't we, trolls? Yeah, we do. And it sure as fuck wasn't me that gave her that shit. And had yeah. I known, and had I known that the judge did not approve of that shit, right? I would have handled. I would have handled things quite differently. I yeah, you. because I would have said, "Hey, uh, what the hell is going on? You're not taking my my mother to go get that shit, to go get that poison." Anyway, the point is, is that. Um, I Mom, regardless, she was on the floor. If it, even if it was a pallet, you should not leave her on the floor. My understanding it was an hour. Well, no. Vaughn is saying uh, it was only a few minutes. Dead blood. No, no. the the uh, the re the phone records show that uh, my response was almost immediate. So no, that's not true. My elderly mother recently had a stroke, and we immediately got her medical attention. Uh, every minute counts. She had the vaccine and she is alive. And well, well, maybe she's a little bit different than her Vaughn's mother. You know, uh, every, I don't believe every, that every human said. being is different. You know, you can't say one person is going to be this. It's going to have the same effect on another. Come on, guy. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that for a second, any fucking way, because we know from goddamn New York. Yeah, City. Yeah, don't say, it, don't say, it, don't say, know, it, don't say. It. I know, but I'm we sorry. know what happened. We know what happened in New York City. Let's put. It we that know way. what Cuomo did to the elderly. We know people. what Cuomo he's did. A, to he's the a mass murderer. Andrew Cuomo is a mass murderer. We know. We know that, and he ain't go to see one day in jail for it, which makes he's me a mad. mass murderer. Yep, which makes me mad as hell. But anyway, the, uh, hard truth uh, cut to. Oh, and by the way, hello, Dev Kitty. How you doing, sweetheart? Uh, hard truth. Uh, I don't like people coming on the internet accusing me of raping my daughters and killing my mother. Do you, do you understand plain fucking English? And if it happens again, 
There's going to be flashing lights out somebody's goddamn window. You can bet on that because I'm tired of being the fucking punching bag of the goddamn internet. You let this shit go on for 50. I lost my goddamn kids because of you dumb son of a bitches. Mm -hmm. And I can never get them back. They're gone forever. I can't get them back. And I, you don't think you motherfuckers are going to go to jail over that shit? Fuck yeah, you are. I guarantee you are. I lost my goddamn kids because of you motherfuckers. Because of a bunch of fucking lies. Mm, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You guys think you guys think this is a joke. You think this is funny. You think this is a game. It is no fucking game. I assure you it's no game. So now you keep believing in your stupid ass fucking mind that you can get on here and slander, liable, defame, and 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 harass me because you can't. You cannot do that. And it's going uh, to fat, uh, fat boy. Uh, we uh, Vaughn had a huge winning day in court uh, I had two a days. Huge winning day, you fuck. Ban yeah. his ass. Ban his ass. Huge fucking winning day. Fuck you. All right. Oof, Vaughn is hot today. Day. Vaughn is hot. Fuck yeah, I'm hot. Five fucking times David Anthony has went on goddamn G Man show and, and accused me of raping my kids and murder and, my, and murdering my mother. Oof. And I'm tired of it. I've had enough. And then bans me because I said a few measly little cuss words, but do, but lets David Anthony sit there and just drone on about how I'm a fucking mass murderer all of a sudden. What the fuck, man? Are you not listening? Who said you assaulted your daughters? That fat fuck David Anthony did. David Anthony. David Anthony accused me of raping my children. Yes, he fucking did. Go watch the goddamn live show, you fucking morons. Go watch it. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of it. And it's going to stop. And, I, and it's ironic that I'm going to be arresting somebody that was actually abused by the fucking trolls. I don't understand, G-Man. These people got you fired from your job five fucking times and damn near got you thrown in prison. And your fucking ass has, has got them on your show and is, and is sucking up to them? What the fuck? I don't understand, bro. And then your goddamn co-host, Sabella, your fucking head mod, Sabella, over there hanging out with goddamn drug addicts talking about snorting lines of coke. And you want to oh. sit there and say, you want to sit there and say that you're righteous? Really? Holy shit. Talk to me about righteous, motherfucker. Talk to the hand, bro. Okay? Righteous my ass. Righteous my ass. And by the way, just for the record, the Christian God Jehovah, I've got archaeological evidence that proves, proves, not my opinion, proves that the Christian God Jehovah is actually Moloch, a blood-drinking, baby-killing, motherfucking demon. And maybe that's why y'all can't seem to get ahead. is because you're worshiping a fucking demon from ancient Sumer. How about them apples, bro? And let me tell you something else. Like I said yesterday, for those of you that actually caught the show, like I said yesterday, the New World Order isn't going to get their World War III, boys and girls. You know what that means? That means they're going to throw, they're going to throw fucking Christianity in the trash. Be, be on the lookout for tons and tons and tons of evidence from the New World Order themselves. Not from me, not from Sam, not from anybody else. From the New World Order themselves. Oh, look, here's all this evidence where Christianity is totally fake. Ha, well, imagine that. How the hell did that happen? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that fucking amazing? So get prepared, boys and girls. You're about to lose. Christianity is about to go down the shitter with all hands. Whether you like it or not. And that, that may have been what spurred this on. I don't know. What do you two want? You guys, okay. All right, you guys want outside. You want it's outside. so cute, Vaughn. Ooh, Vaughn is uh, hot today. Um, I just want to say real quick, Vaughn, look who's in the uh, look who's in the chat. Yeah, uh, David and oh no, oh. it's uh, the uh, the uh, Mr. Uh, tough Guy himself. Is yeah, in the bye, chat. Larry. Bye, Larry. Automatic, you don't want him in here. Automatic ban. Yeah, kiss on uh, uh, kick, kick on kick on site. Right. All right, sorry, sorry about your luck there, uh, bud. You're uh, gone. Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, Two million dollars that he's supposed to give me of my daddy's money. And how the fuck did you get that money, Larry? That's a damn good question. I want to know. Larry, you have to be out of that. You got to be out of that house. You you got served papers. That's right. You, you're gone. You're not paying rent. You're gone. The judge you said owe, you're gone. You owe 36000 in back rent. You don't think that judge is living over? What do you think probate judges do, Larry? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think probate judges do? They go after people that don't pay their back rent. <laughs> they go after people that, you know, who do you, where do you think the repo man comes from? Probate judges. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Alice Helton's ghost. Oh my fucking God. El Helton is the dumbest broadcaster alive that he has. Okay. Uh, hey, dumbass. Did you ever think of disrespecting the dead might not be a good thing? Coming in here is my mom's name. Get him the fuck out of here. Yeah, Larry got 300 million. You're right, Solo. That is correct. Yes, because each $1,000 bill is worth uh, $10,000 a piece. 10 to 20,000 a piece. That's true. 10 to 20,000 a piece. That's correct. Where's the G Man video? It's his latest live. It's over on his channel. It should be his latest live show. It should be over there on his channel. Anyway, Vaughn, can we get a little sense of order in the house, which made me settle down a little bit? You're hot today, huh? Well, this shit's got to stop. Yeah, shit has to stop. Yeah, it yeah, does. I've lost every fucking thing, you know, and nobody gives a fuck. I've lost, yeah, no one gives lost a shit. everything, and nobody gives a shit. So, I mean, you know, I have every right to be angry. I have every right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I guess you got the right to let loose every once in a while, I guess. Yes, I do. I kind of wanted to have a peaceful show, and then I wake up. Well, I say, I wanted to have a peaceful show too, but, but unfortunately, we have people like G Men who want to stir the pot. Well, I don't yeah. understand. I don't understand this latest. This latest. Hey, let's all suck up to a bunch of goddamn domestic terrorists and convict a criminal. Yeah. What? Where the fuck? Who? I, how come I missed the memo? I missed. I must have missed the fucking memo because I didn't get that fucking memo. I didn't get that fucking memo. No. Yeah. Um, I'm drinking code red. Uh, hard truth. I'm drinking Code Red. Code Red Mountain Dew. Um, yeah, I missed the memo where we got where where people that try to get us killed, try to get us fired from our jobs, and succeeded in getting you fired from your job, G man. How many five fucking times? I think it's three, three or five, something like that. Uh, tried to get us killed. Try to, you know, busting up people's marriages, taking people's kids away, fucking getting people killed in real in the real world now. I mean, you know, what the fuck, man? And we're going to suck up to people like that? Really? We're going to give them a voice? Oh, they're just, they just so can't. They don't get a voice. We got to go to G-Man to hear our voice. No, well, they got their own YouTube channel, G-Man. You're not Listen to ready. this one. Listen to this whopper here. Larry told me he's going on a cruise to the Caribbean with his wife. With the interest he gets on your daddy's money, oh, I don't know about that. That is something else. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if he did say something like that, but I don't. I don't know about that. G man corrected the job loss thing. Well, what's the new story? What's the new fabrication? Yeah. What? what oh, so so the trolls were not responsible for him losing his job three times in a goddamn row. That was all bullshit. That was all bullshit. He lied to all of us. I thought Christians weren't supposed to lie. Yeah, so did I. Dove Kitty says, honestly, I've never heard David speak about Vaughn, mostly always about Shani and Rev, but I haven't seen G-Man's video yet. It's on G-Man's latest live. G-Man's latest live, which should be over there. But yeah, man, I'm sick of this shit. <clears throat> oh, he did lie? Damn. So what? How did he get fired then? Yeah, how did he get fired so many goddamn times? If it wasn't smoking cold. crack in the bathroom or something? Yeah, it must have been smoking crack or some shit. It must have been doing something illegal. <laughs> what the hell happened? What I the mean, hell got him fired? The trolls, if it wasn't the trolls, that, that I'm that pretty sure the trolls got him fired. I am too, but he's maybe he maybe he kind of made up a story because I guess maybe the trolls convinced him to to turn change the story around or something, I, or gave him money. I don't know. G-Man was responsible for him losing his job. He locked a child in a store to go outside to make a video. 
I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. I, that. I, I highly doubt that. I mean, that's, 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 that's a legitimate store. crime. That's that's entrapment. That's that's child endangerment. He would have been he would have been thrown in prison, dude. Okay, that's child endangerment. He would have been thrown in jail. Locking a child in a store? What is that? That's like felony kidnapping or something, well, right? Felony, ki felony kidnapping, child endangerment, uh, you know. Holy uh, shit. Uh, 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 mental cruelty, um, cruel and unusual punishment. I mean, that's all kinds of fucking shit. I'm not saying you're lying, Dub Kitty. I'm just saying it's hard to believe. That he's he he would be in federal prison if he did that, honey. He would he would have he would have been he would have went to jail for child endangerment at minimum. At minimum, he would have went to jail for child endangerment. Now they're saying you sold your soul to the devil. Okay, you're you're going bye bye. That that's a whopper. That's yeah, it's gone. You're gone. I delete you. Oh, that's Clayton Hilton. Of the yeah, uh, uh -huh. yeah. We're using my dead son's name. Yeah, you're sick. You're a sick fuck. Clayton is my son's de my dead son's name. Oh, the one that died, right? Yeah, Miscarriage or something. Died. Yeah. It was an accident. I don't care what it was. If he if he locked a child in a store, particularly if it's a hot day outside, his ass would have been gone. Because that's child endangerment. Whether it was an accident or not, it's still child What's G Man's channel called? I think it's just called G. Um, uh, no, I think it's called Debate Coliseum or some shit. Debate Coliseum, oh, yeah. yeah. Hang on, let me find out here. Damn, I'm gonna go to fucking YouTube. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, do 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 do. Let's see here. Oh, his uh, church buddies yeah. covered it up, huh? Inside yeah. job. So you're saying it was a conspiracy, huh? It was a conspiracy. Nice. Uh, yeah, it must have been. Must have been a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's one. So G Man's a dragoon now. Oh, really? He's he's in with the dragon out. Jeez. Uh, fun. We're fun, man. This is this is like ugh. This is crazy. well. They you know the god said that. Everything would be exposed, and boy, that's we're really we're really getting some exposure. We're finding out the truth about everything, I guess, ain't we? Yeah, it would seem. It would seem we're finding out the truth about we're everything. dropping it, dropping it like it's hot here. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man! All right, let's see. Um, okay, I found his G-Man channel, but that's not the that's not the bait coliseum. Uh, yeah, he has too many channels. Yeah, I think he's got like three or four channels. Um, where the hell? Where the hell is it? Damn. Yeah, Dragnaut is a, a non-believer atheist who has no morals, no values, no ethics. Yeah. And, uh, he's also a big fake who lies about his education. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Uh, most likely. No, no, don't care. G Man never lost his channel uh, ch job. Get your facts straight. Yeah, he pretty well. Even the trolls are saying that he lost his job. Even yeah, the but, trolls are saying he lost his job. So where are you getting that shit from? Even yeah. the trolls say that. Well, fuck. Where in the hell's? Let's see here. Um, live shows. Epic de debate arena is number eleven, six hours long. Yeah, it is six hours long. Yeah, I, I don't know how long it was, but this pedal will spend five. Um, what well, is on his G Man channel? My bad. It is on his G Man channel. I'm sorry. Let's get rid of that. I thought it. I thought it wasn't. My bad. G Man mostly does sh v v uh, shiny hate videos now. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's that's all right. That's between I thought them he two. was friends with Rev and Shanny, but I guess not. Right? I thought she, I thought they were running. The, I thought Rev and uh, I thought Rev and G Man were running the train on Shanny. I thought Rev and Shanny were renting from G Man. Yes, he since he found he put the truth about Shanny on Rev, he became cordial with Drag for several uh, on several. Hours. Okay. Oh, when he when he well, I tell you what what convinced me was when I seen the condition of that house. Holy shit! And they and they you talk guys, about you, the trolls. Yeah, Holy you shit. guys talk about my fucking trailer, and that house was ten times worse than my trailer ever thought about being. He admitted it to drag as well as an apology for not 
believe in him about shining at rap abusing their kids. Okay. I, I couldn't. Good I, morning, John and Vaughn. Hey, how you know a guy named Paulie? I was in this court about adoption because he was trying to adopt it. This Paulie guy comes in and said your name, and it's and he is adopting your kids. No, he's is not. that true, Vaughn? You know no. who's adopting? Yeah, know? they're talking about Paul Wayman of Quincy, Illinois. He tried to purchase my children from Andrea for, th for $30,000, $10,000 a child. Okay, really? Where, where I come from, we call that child trafficking, and it's a felony. It's a Class A felony in all 50 states. And uh, not only that, but I have a Project Veritas-style video where not only did he talk about my kids, but he talked about actually buying and selling other people's uh, children as well. And so uh, he's, in, he's, he's enjoying the last few days of freedom because he's going to be going to prison as soon as I give uh, the state police my testimony. He'll be going to state prison for the rest of his natural life. Okay, so um, Bond's kids will get the attention and care they need. Are you fucking high? They're owned by the government now. The government's going to use and abuse those children the now. Last for the, rest person, of the last person you want involved in your kids is the government. More children are abused under government care than any other situation. Exactly. Okay. You got to be out and, of your you freaking got, mind you guys, to think that the government's going to take care of kids. And when you you mean the you, you mean the same government that bombs kids in in the Middle East every day? You mean the same government that fucking lets chemical spills destroy entire yeah, cities? Like, when, <laughs> yeah, you're talking about that government. They're that Ohio. government that cares about kids. That the government doesn't care about you. Pete Buttigieg, that that homo's running around talking about how evil white people is instead of doing I his know. damn job. That you're talking about that government? Yeah, I don't think so, bud. You got to get your facts checked. You got to, you got to really get a, you're going to get a rude awakening about the uh, government care for sure. <laughs> Can a citizen bring criminal charges without the aid of the district attorney? Uh, depends. I mean, if it's a felony, it is your duty. If you know a felony has taken place, it is your duty to report that felony. Yes, it fucking is. Yes, it fucking is. Oh, look at this. Oh, ha ha. Uh, ha ha. Computer repair. Yeah. Very funny. Very funny. You're going bye bye. Let's see. These people sound terrible. Yeah, they are terrible. Mm. They are terrible. I, I hope they don't get lost in the system like some kids you can't find. Yeah, well, that's going to happen. Joey Diaz says, John, I really like the bubble bath clip you made. was hilarious. Yeah, I was trying. You know, it's. Some comedic relief, you know. We needed yeah, a little happiness, and you know, in our lives, so just having some fun. Trying to lighten up a little bit, yeah. Uh, Mike, I'm sorry about your trouble, but you're gonna go bye bye, bye bye, Mike. Yes. You want to see another bubble bath video? I, I got the bigger bathtub now that I'm in the in the, in the new house. Yeah, he's got a new. He's got a, a big ba a big bathtub. Yeah, big like bathtub. So I might have to do a bubble bath yeah, uh, video. He's got a big bathtub now, like I do. Yeah, Vaughn, we got to get the bubble bath video out there, man. Vaughn, you never told us about how you got back after you zip zap and got a girl pregnant. Did your mom drive you back in the Lincoln Town car like she did after you went AWOL? What the fuck is that thought? What is that person yeah, that's, talking about? This is somebody that's obviously high or drunk or both. Drunk. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get rid of them? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I feel bad for them even though they're drunk. Oh, well. Get oh, well. You should have not came back on here. Yep. Goodbye. 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 You are the weakest thing. Goodbye. Yep. Vaughn, I don't think you understand how the law and how the judicial system works. Well, Vaughn's a po Vaughn understands quite clearly he's a constitutionalist. Vaughn, uh, Vaughn is a constitutionalist. I understand how the law works. Vaughn, Vaughn, it's Fat Larry saying that he's going on a cruise on Von Helton's dime. Yeah, he's been doing everything on Von Helton's dime. He's been doing everything on my money. How the hell do you think he put three kids into college? You think he got a scholarship? John, do you there? help your wife clean the house and wash, and, uh, like a good husband, wash those mirrors and tubs? I do. I try. I try to do my best. I, you know, I might not be the best, but I try to do the best. 
Could Koozie job? That would be great. Oh, yeah, right? That would be a really great fucking Mine great a jacuzzi. Uh, Mine is a jacuzzi. I got the Yo, Vaughn, we really need to get that bubble bath going. Uh, that jacuzzi that jacuzzi hasn't been running yet. Anyone know a good plumbing or plumber in the area? Well, Vaughn did get a couple plumbing repair videos on, on Odyssey, right? Uh no, that was electrical, buddy. That wasn't. Uh, did you put a new? I uh, did you put a new uh thing in the tub? Did a oh, new? Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I forgot about the about the toilet. Yeah, I did fix the toilet. So actually, actually, I had somebody come out and fix it. Uh, later on, they kind of they kind of corrected me a little bit. I got it right. I just what it was the arm on the on the toilet was was on backwards. <laughs> so he come out and he put the he put the arm on correctly and. Uh, it worked a lot better than and that's the karaoke channel odyssey.com slash have von hilton too and of course the news network channel is odyssey.com slash at real von hilton check the channels out guys i don't care if they've got it out in the middle of a fucking rowboat in the middle of the ocean if it's out there they have to give it back okay they have to give it back the judge has already said so the judge has already stated publicly and privately they have to give the money. Larry the is a huge back. spender lately, buying everything in sight. He even bought ten chickens. He was about he was bragging about. Well, he's trying to get rid of the money. That's what he's yeah, trying, he's trying to, to do, but it don't matter. Yeah. But it don't matter because they just confiscate everything he buys and just yeah. reach the, and then everything sell he it. Buys, they, they confiscate it. That's right. Yeah. Everything he buys, they're going to confiscate. Everything in his possession will be sold to uh, give back to Vaughn. And yeah. any money that he can't give back to Vaughn, he'll have to be made pay back in a future date. Correct. That would be basically the way it goes. Yep, that's exactly how it works. Unless I sue Clay County outright, and then they go after the Frost to get stuff. Yeah, we'll leave uh, don't lives. put uh, bubbles in the Katuzi cup unless you pl don't plan on turning on the jets. We'll leave stuff in the pipes. What, soap? We'll leave stuff in the pipes? You... Well, if it leaves soap in the pipes, how's that a bad thing? Yeah, yeah. sounds like it's going to be clean. Sounds like it'd be clean. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. You should ask them for the chicken they are um, preseason. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have to ask about anything. The cops, the to sheriff is going to take it. Well, the sheriff will take care of everything. I don't have to do shit. Yeah, sheriff we don't do it. Take care of everything. Sheriff will take care of everything. I don't have to do shit. That's the nice thing about it. Did the renters sign any leases? Doesn't matter what they fucking signed. They were told both orally and now written uh, what to do. And the judge said that you're on March first, they have to be they have to be out by March first. If yep, not, Vaughn send the paper in. That yep. paper is given to the judge. The judge then picks up the fix up the phone and tells the sheriff, "You got a, you got diddle dick A, you got diddle dick B, and you got diddle dick C. They're going adios. They're going yep. bon without, voyage without their stuff. Because when the sheriff without comes, their stuff, if the sheriff comes out and removes them, they don't get to get their stuff." They're They'll lock out. the door behind them. They have to give the key. They're not allowed to go back into the property. Nope. If they go back into the property, it will be trespassing. Correct. That would be correct. Yeah. Oh, the soap creates a residue that will turn uh, black. Uh, trust me, I've owned one for 14 years. So, okay. Yeah, hit the bricks, that beats. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Vaughn, give me a second. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to put my clothes on. I'm going to get ready for work, and then we'll talk in the car, all right? Yeah, yeah. Sounds good, man. Whatever. All right. All you keep the show going. You got a news topic we could talk about while I'm getting dressed? Uh, let me see here. Well, uh, yeah, buddy, I'll tell you. How do you top the fucking zombie apocalypse? I mean, you know, kind of hard to top that one. Shit. Fucking zombie apocalypse, man. I can't fucking believe that shit. That's crazy. That's just that's just nuts, man. Let me see here. Let me see uh, what we got going oh, on. Oh, I love my new job, man. I bet. I bet. Oh, dude, this is this this is this is uh something that's going crazy on the internet. Let me uh blow this up here. Uh, this is going crazy on the internet. People five feet of snow in Los Angeles. That's a pretty big headline. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Whoa, that's not working out for me. God damn. God damn banner. They got this fucking black banner on there that fucking just blocks every goddamn thing. All right, here we go. Can you throw me up or not? Let me get Yeah, I'll throw you up there. Shit. Let me get my shit. I'll there. throw you on this big stream, huh? Right, throw me, buddy. Throw me. Yeah, throw you. I'm gonna throw you. 
All right. Nurse captured on video allegedly slamming a newborn onto the bassinet and was fired from Long Island Hospital. Holy shit. Glad yeah. I lost I'm glad I left Long Island there, Vaughn, huh? Yeah, goddamn, man. Holy shit. A nurse at a New York hospital was fired and is now under investigation by police after a father filmed his newborn son allegedly being slammed face first onto a bassinet, authorities said Friday. The incident occurred at Good Samaritan University Hospital in West Islip on Long Island. Uh, the date it happened was not uh, immediately clear Friday. Uh, Suffolk County Police said in a statement, detectives with a special victim section are investigating. Fuck yeah, I, I, would, I would hope so. <laughs> Shit. Um, NBC New York uh, reported the baby, Nico, was only two days old when he was being treated with antibiotics at the hospital's neonatal intensive care unit. That's when the infant's father, Fidel Sinclair, began filming his child through curtains that were not completely drawn. A uh, video then captured a nurse allegedly forcefully flipping the baby from onto its back to his stomach on the basement, on the bassinet, excuse me. Uh, Sinclair told NBC New York it was divine intervention. He witnessed the horrifying moment. I'm happy I was there. God sent me, Sinclair said. If it wasn't for God, we would have never seen none of that happen. And that would have kept uh, happening through the night, not only to him, but to the other babies too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is that all? Damn, that's all. Okay, well, fuck. Uh, but yeah, wow. Um, damn. That's that's some that's some that's some harsh shit right there, man. You know, yeah. And then people people actually get on the internet and tell me that evil doesn't exist and and that everything is shades of gray. No, I think that's pretty fucking evil. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's pretty fucking evil. I don't think that's shades of gray. I think that's pretty fucking evil. Uh, no shades of gray on that one, folks. Okay, that's that's just blatant fucking evil. All right. Yeah, fucking zombie apocalypse. You missed you missed the show yesterday, would it be? Man, it was great. Fucking zombie apocalypse, bro. It's crazy. Uh let me uh in fact I'll give you I'll give you the link, um, hippie, and you can come on in if you want. See if I can find your old email and I'll give you the link. You can come in. I think I can find your old email. It should be here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> I know you're out there somewhere. 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 I know you're out there somewhere. And somehow I'll return again to you. Uh, the stoners apparently made a video reply to me. I have no interest in going and watching it. But if you feel like uh, you want to lose brain cells, go watch it. Um, do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> Welcome to spring. All right. Okay, this must be in my scent folder then. Yep, it was. It was in my scent folder. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Reply. And paste. And smiley face. All right. Link's on the way there, hippie. Link is on the way, dude. Uh, Poliza. Intellion von. Uh, 25 to 2023. Oh, that's not. Oops. That wasn't supposed to come to me. <laughs> supposed to come to uh, GOUV.DE. <laughs> Oops, that's not me. <laughs> I don't know how the hell you got my email mixed up with that shit. But oh well. All right. Joe Rogan's estranged father has harsh words for his son. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Something is going on with the weather. Yeah, no shit. California is going to be getting a blizzard um, in in places that normally is hot. So, yeah, there's something wrong with the weather, obviously. Obviously, something bad wrong with the weather. Hot California is going to be going through a blizzard. And not just cold weather, but actual snow. Tons and tons of snow. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I sent the link to John. If he wants to throw it up, he can, I guess. 
Uh, but yeah, man, I get crazy. All right, Vaughn, I'm back. I just got dressed. Sounds good, bro. All right, so oh, we got Woody in the bit. We got Woody here. Okay. There you go. Okay, I just read an article that said there was 144,000 dead a variety of wildlife, being birds, squirrels, whatever. 144,000 dead now, they're estimating, uh, on the ground at East Palestine. I uh, don't doubt that. Uh, I don't doubt that at all. But of very, course, you know, very, of course very, people very, are so almost, safe. I mean, the government protects us every day. I mean, we should really thank the government for protecting and we, us. And, and we definitely want to protect our children. And, 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 we, and, we, and we definitely want to trust the government with our children. Yeah, exactly. uh, Yeah, definitely. Uh, Vaughn, was that your was that your state or Tennessee that banned the uh, banned the child transgender? That was Tennessee. Was Tennessee. that Tennessee? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was. Tennessee. I knew it was. I knew it was one of you two over there. Yeah, yeah, that was Tennessee, and and yeah. good, and good on them for doing it. Good on them for doing it. Oh yeah, sure. Let's well, try I'm, to stop this I'm madness. Not going there, but I'm. I'm, let me, let me, yeah, let me. Since we're on the subject, let me make it. Let me make a public statement. Um, now, oh, this shit. is not this statement. Let me make it clear: this statement is not sanctioned by the gods. This is my opinion only. However, uh, I don't see the gods would disagree with me on this. Well, um, well we, I think not, I think I, I am very. I think I'm very safe in saying that uh, this transgenderism, transhumanism is going to lead to the destruction of the human race, ultimately. I don't think anyone can even argue that statement because um, that obviously if you become a trans human being, then you are no longer a regular human being. All right, so uh, this transgenderism, transhuman, this, and, and let's be clear, the transgenderism was to make transhumanism more palatable. Let's be clear on that shit, okay? Let's be abundantly clear on that shit. Transgenderism was to make transhumanism more palatable, okay? Because now they're getting ready to throw transhumanism on you, okay? They're going to slap that shit right in your face, and they're going, "Oh, it's oh, it's one, it's the next thing. It's going to be so cool." I remember years ago. Wait, 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 wait a second. Now, there are some good. I, I'm not. I'm not even going to touch the whole transgender. I shouldn't have brought it up, but I. But I will tell you that the, the transhumanism thing. In some cases, like there are people now, Vaughn, that, you know, they use the neurons and they have a digital hand when they lose an arm like in war. Right. Now, technically, that's transhumanism. Well, you know, you, you no. lose an arm. And so you added you add an appendage on. We've been right. doing that for a long time, too, well, Vaughn. Yeah, but no, okay. Let, started, yeah. It started with a hook. Then you got a fake hand goes in World War One. I. I know Britain that. Not have all their not, soldiers yeah, coming that's back. Not, that's arms. not. That's not. So you had no, prosthetics. That's not what we're. That's not what we're not talking about. Normal prosthetics that we've been using for years and years and years. That's not what I'm talking about. Transhumanism is where they're changing you on the inside with that which shall not be named, and then plus also they're changing you on the outside, as well. Um, like I started to say. Okay, I watched a cartoon years and years ago called Batman Beyond. It was like a futuristic version of Batman in the year 2099. And there was a particular episode in that, in that cartoon where these young punks um, were going in into these uh, medical facilities and they were getting they were getting spliced. They call it they getting spliced, okay? And what it was they were mixing, they're, they were getting injected with DNA uh, strains from animals like cheetahs, rhinoceros, uh, you know, gorillas, whatever. And so they were coming out with super strength and, and the girls were going in and getting these cheetah uh, uh, shots that were giving them super speed and everything. And it was, it was interesting to watch that, that show. And then, you know, looking back in hindsight to what they're saying now, because now it's not a damn cartoon on, on, on TV. Now it's something that they're seriously considering doing. And, um, you know, that's, that's really, really scary. That is extremely scary. Um, you know, but yeah, the transgenderism, in my opinion, was to soften you for transhumanism. And now the transhumanism, now that people have become acceptable for transhumanism, you can see that start to get pushed heavily. 
watch and see. See, the, the, the problem, like I alluded to earlier, the problem that the Christians are going to be facing here with the next few weeks and months and years is the fact that Christianity is fake as a $3 bill. Jesus is fake. Jesus is a cross between Mithros and Krishna, two prior gods that they literally melded together and drew. They drew. They literally copied the documents for the for the wording right out of the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu Bible. And they didn't even bother changing the damn words. They just took it out of the Hindu Bible, plopped it in the Christian Bible, and called it done. And so it's is you know I mean you know you can literally go to the Bhagavad Gita, open it up, and read it, and you'd be like, hey, that sounds familiar. Well, it should. Because they're the ones that authored it. But anyway, uh, but here's the beautiful thing about it. I don't have to do anything. Nobody else has to do anything. The New World Order themselves is going to expose Christianity as a fake and a fraud. It turns out that the New World Order was using Christianity to put everybody under their control. And unfortunately, it worked like a charm. And I, I admit I was sucked into it for 20 years. I was a Christian for 20 years, evangelical. Now come to find out it's all bullshit. And the New World Order, now that they're not going to get their World War III, they're going to take Christianity and they're going to wad it up and throw it in the trash can, just like they did the old Soviet Union and just like they're doing now with the United States. But they're going to expose Christianity as a complete and utter fraud. And you won't be able to refute it because the evidence is going to be so overwhelming. Because the New World Order is the one that created the damn thing. You know, a.k.a. ancient Rome and Vatican and Club of Rome and the Jesuits and all this. But it's all going to come out, folks. It's all going to come out perpetrated by the New World Order themselves. The New World Order is going to expose Christianity as a complete and utter fraud because they didn't get their World War III that they wanted so bad. Now, what's going to so happen they're all to expose hurt. this? And so now they're all butthurt. And so now they're going to they're going to literally put all the information about Christianity out there. OK, see, like I said, there's archaeological evidence that Jehovah and Moloch are the same dude. There's archaeological evidence for that. In fact, Jehovah had a wife. Sean, I'm going to be driving here. So you're in control of the show for a few minutes. All right, Sean. OK. And and uh, uh, Jehovah had a wife. Her name is Asherah. Google it. I mean, it's out there. The information is out there. OK, it's not like I'm making this shit up. That information is out there, man. It exists. OK, and it's archaeological evidence, so it cannot be refuted. But the thing of it is, is that, like I said, you know, uh, these people are going to get the shock of their lives when they find out that. I mean, you know, you can imagine. I mean, it was a shock to my system when I found out that Christianity was fake. It was. I have to admit that it was. It was a shock to my system. I was ill prepared for that, actually. It was like, whoa, what do I do now? And I really didn't know what to do. I really didn't know what to do with that information. And so, you know, I said, well, I do what, I do, you know, and then, and then I get, and then I get the bombshell about Napoleon going into the vaults and saying, oh, by the way, everything we believe is a lie. All of it, religion, politics, science, uh, social strata, the whole damn thing, everything you believe out there is a fucking lie. All of it. Yes, even atheism. We know now that atheism was funded by fucking Rothschild, for God's sake. So we know that's fake. You know, Karl Marx goes up to Rothschild and says, hey, cuz, give me a check. And he cuts him a check and off he goes. Okay. So, yeah, it's all fake. Everything. Napoleon did what you and I could not do. He went down in the Vatican vaults and he came up white as a sheet and said, oh, my God, everything's fake. All right. So that's when I took the steps to reach out to the universe and say, hey, is there anybody out there that gives a damn? And luckily, I got responded to. And, you know, now we're now we're uh, talking about freedom religion and we're going to get freedom religion up and running and and uh, hopefully get some exposure. I'm going to try to get some exposure. I tried to get on the Brittany Bentley show and I ended up uh, some troll, I guess, giving her three thousand dollars to say my name. It's like, well, that's not exactly what I wanted. What I wanted was on her show so that I could talk about freedom religion and talk about the butterfly prophecy. That's what I wanted. Um, you know, say my name. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did want her to say my name. That is true. But I also wanted on the show so that I could talk about shit. But whatever. It does, you know, they. so I got trolled by them too, ironically. But that's not surprising. I mean, everybody's fucking trolling these days, apparently. But the point is, is that, you know, things are changing quickly. People are being exposed for who they really are, which is fascinating to me. 
you know, and, and, from, and from the unlikeliest place, I, you know, if you'd have told me 10 years ago that Agent 19 would have two of the most notorious YouTube trolls as his moderators in his live show, I would have laughed at you and said, there's no fucking way that he's going to have Mrs. Anonymous Dick and Tiffany Moser as, as mods on his show. He just got through exposing them as, as not only YouTube trolls, but criminals. And now he's got them as moderators on his show. What the fuck? What the fuck? You know, so yeah, it's bizarro world, man. Fucking bizarro world. Everybody's kissing up to these fuckers. I guess maybe because they know their time is short. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, you know, I, here's here's the thing. If I was a YouTube troll right now, especially a Von Helton hater, especially a Von Helton hater, and I saw that big ass fist imprint out there in, in, in Crane Creek, and I saw where that hit so fucking hard, it literally bent the road into the ground. It hit so damn hard. I'd be scared shitless. Not of not of Von Helton, but of Von Helton's gods. Because if they can do something like that, they can do anything. I'd be scared to death, man. These motherfuckers put on a damn good face when they get on the internet, don't they? Well, we're going to find out how much of a good face they got. Because I got a funny feeling shit's about to hit the pan. I think shit's about to hit the pan here real soon. And it ain't going to be the Christian God that does it. That's for damn sure. Moloch don't give two fucks about you son of a bitches. You, you're going to find that out the hard way. You're going to find out the hard way that Moloch is a blood drinking, baby killing piece of shit. That's what you're going to find out. You know, and it, and it sucks to be you. You know, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, all I can do is tell you the truth. Now, if you believe it, not great. If you don't believe it, that's great, too. Let me go let my dogs in. I guess he doesn't remember what religion I am. Or doesn't care. Probably the latter. Alrighty, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be very interesting, and 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 you know, I no offense, John, but I got to tell the truth. Uh, the Muslim God Allah, he's who is actually Hubal, an ancient demon oh, from snap. from ancient Mesopotamia. He really is. We have archaeological evidence for that too. We have archaeological ends uh, for that, too. Uh, somebody wants to know, Woody, what religion you are, just out of curiosity. Christian. Christian, okay. <clears throat> well, I don't know what to tell you guys. Vaughn's um, favorite. I'm Vaughn's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> you're, my, you're my token Christian. Is that what you're saying, Woody? <laughs> yeah, I'm Catholic, too. Uh, but, that, so. but, but I mean, you know, and, and let me, you know, and I've said this numerous times. I'm not saying that to be a dick. I'm not saying it to, you know, browbeat somebody's beliefs. I'm saying it because it's the truth. You know, I mean, archaeological evidence is irrefutable. I'm sorry. You know, when we dig that shit from, you know, miles, on, well, not miles, but, you know, you know, a long fucking way down in the ground and we pull that shit out of there, it's real. It's not made up. Okay. And, um. You know, so, I mean, you know, but yeah, you're going to find out the hard way, guys. Sorry. You know, because like I said, the New World Order themselves is going to expose Christianity as complete and utter fraud. The evidence is going to be completely overwhelming. You're not going to be able to refute it. They're going to talk about the Jesuits. They're going to talk about uh, the Club of Rome and, and, the, and the old Roman Empire, which eventually became the Vatican, which eventually created Christianity out of, out of nothing, literally out of nothing. They first tried this guy named uh, Mithros, and he got rejected. Then they actually tried the the god from Zoroastrianism for a little while. They they rejected that too. See the, what Rome was trying to do. They were trying to control the pagans, because the pagans at the time were the majority number. And if they could control the pagans, they could handle this shit. They could you know they could deal with the situation with the Jews later on. But they wanted to get the pagans under control first. So they kept coming up with all these deities to try and get the pagans to, you know, and when they, so when they threw Mithros at them, they're like, nah, nah, what the fuck is that shit? We, we saw through that. They saw through that one. Okay. Right, Vaughn, they, I, have a, I have a question. How, how old is the Sphinx? You say, is, that, you say the archaeological evidence can't be refuted. How old is the Sphinx? Well, the Sphinx is actually in dispute. Uh, the Sphinx. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. That's, 
but but they but here's the thing, Woody. Okay, the thing of it is, is that you know, um, you know, people are pretty much in agreement that it was it was here long before the the ancient Egyptians were. And 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 let's be clear: the original head on the Sphinx was most likely a jackal. It was most likely the Sphinx was most likely uh, the uh, the Egyptian um, the god the Egyptian god of the underworld, uh, Anubis. Who, whose name whose name just died. Anubis? Just, just, huh? Is it Anubis? Anubis. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was Anubis, man. He was a jackal. He looked like a jackal, and uh, it was well, the a lion. Of, a lion that, would make a lion would make more sense because it's facing Leo. Right, but the problem is they don't have lions. They had jackals, they had tigers, they had leopards, but they did not have lions. Lions are in the African uh, Sahara. Uh, but anyways, uh, the point is is that uh, we are now understanding it was most likely the head of a jackal. It was Anubis. Now, you say, well, how do you know it's Anubis? Well, we know it's Anubis because where the Sphinx is located is right near the Halls of Amente, which is supposedly a a trip that you go down into mm -hmm. the underworld. Okay. So, you know, and, and Anubis was uh, the God of the underworld. And so therefore uh, the Sphinx is most likely Anubis in a sitting position. Uh, so I didn't say no lions in Africa. That's not what I said. God, why do people say what I don't say? I did not say there was no lions in Africa. I did not say that. Damn it. Why do people convolute what I say? You hear, you think you hear what I say, and then you say something different. I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, point being, now I'm getting sidetracked from the damn side chat here. Uh, the point is, is that, yeah, it was most likely Anubis. Uh, the thing of it is, oh, and, and by the way, isn't it interesting that Anubis made a tour all across the United States? How many of you knew that? Anybody know, anybody know that besides me? We're talking about stupid shit in the side chat and I actually answer questions for a change. Anybody knew besides me that Anubis made a tour all across the United States? It did. It did. What? I, you're you're going to have to explain that to me, Vaughn. I'm not... What, I'm not okay, okay. I'll explain it to you. Okay, I'll explain it to you. There was a 200-foot tall Anubis. All right? 200-foot tall. Huge motherfucker. Okay. And he went and he and he went around to every city in the United States. You didn't know about that? It was in the news. It was in the news. Um, uh, Home Paranormal said I knew about it. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. There was a two hundred foot tall Anubis uh, going around all over the major cities of the United States. Sure did. Sure did. Well, I don't remember. I, I'm not doubting you. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying I don't remember. I would think I would remember hearing about Anubis going all over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, well, yeah. The 200 foot tall Anubis. You can't miss the motherfucker. <laughs> you can't miss that son of a bitch. But, sure. uh, but and and, and but no, here's something you might have heard, Woody. I don't know if you heard about this. Did you hear about all the Egyptian artifacts they found in the Grand Canyon? Did you hear about that? I, I have heard the the mystery of the grand canyon and they mm. seal it off and mm. they found e ancient egyptian artifacts and and uh yeah that's supposedly that's the uh supposedly that's the rumor and then the mm. smithsonian came in and cleaned it all out took it all back and hit it mm -hmm. so i mean i don't know the validity of it i would think that this modern day with all these now that everybody has gopro cameras and these guys are looking for places to explore. And they don't, they don't, and a lot of these guys, I've been watching some urban explorers. These guys don't give a shit if you're trespassing or not. So they're not going to red tape saying, or if a little fence going stop here isn't going to stop these. That would actually be encouragement, if anything. Right. right. You know, so, so I think a lot of these mysteries and things that we are going to slowly be dispelled as more and more people explore out because people have to have a reason to. There's a reason that people go outside and do urban exploring, be right. it for fun, be it for content, whatever it is. Right, right. But yeah, it's it's gonna be a very interesting. What do you want? You guys want back outside? Hmm? What you want? Tap, tap, tap. It, I love floppy, floppy, floppy. Now see, his mom used to come his mom used to come up and go tap 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 on my arm. And now floppy though, he takes his nose and he'll he'll nudge me with his nose. Real real gentle. He'll mm -hmm. just gently nudge me with his nose and say, I'm down here. <laughs> What do you want? You want to go back outside and bark again, huh? You have two of those, huh? Do you have two of those in the house? Yes, yes. Okay. I have, oh I yeah, have he got two those two. We got Floppy and Sparky. We got Floppy and Sharpie. Yep. Sharpie. Floppy and Sharpie. Sharpie. Okay. 
Mm, floppy and Sharpie. All right. Mm -hmm. yep. So I'm at my destination. I'm going to have to clock in and get going. Um, uh, Vaughn, have a pleasant day and about it tomorrow. You have any last words? Oh, uh, yeah. My last words is G Man, don't be stupid. Don't G Man, be stupid. don't do it. Don't, don't do jump, it, G Man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't, do be, it, don't, don't be froggy, guy. Don't be, don't be froggy. Don't leap. Yeah. All right, Vaughn. I love you. Take it easy. Have a great night. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take it easy.